Hello internet and welcome to Codebeck. In this video, we will be learning how to solve lead code problem container with most water. I hope I got you excited. So let's get started. You can find the link to the problem statement in the description below. So you are given an integer array height of length n. There are n vertical lines drawn such that the two endpoints of the ith line are i of 0 and i comma height of i. Find two lines that together with the x axis forms a container such that the container contains the most water. Return the maximum amount of water a container can store. Let's understand this problem by using a very simple example before we dive into coding it out. Here, we have a simple integer array with only two values, 1 and 2. As you can see from the graph, the blue section contains the integer array values and they denote the height in the bar graph. And the red section denotes the maximum amount of water the container can store. It's clear from the graph that the red section forms a rectangle and by finding the area of the rectangle, we can find the maximum amount of water. If you don't know already, the area of a rectangle is its length times width. In this example, we can calculate the length by subtracting the array index of the elements, that is 1 minus 0, which is 1. And we can calculate the width by figuring out which is the smallest among the two values. In this case, it's 1. So on calculating the area, we get 1 which is the maximum amount of water that we can store. Let's look at another example, shall we? Although this looks complicated, all we need to do here is calculate the area of all possible rectangles and return the largest area. Now we have consolidated a complex problem into a simple one. Equipped with this knowledge, let's start coding, shall we? This is REPL, an online code editor. Here we have a function called max area where an integer array height is being passed in as a parameter. Let's declare a variable called max and default it to zero. Before adding any logic, let's return max. Now we need two loops to find area of all possible rectangles. From the example, it's clear that one loop is required to traverse from the first to the last but one element and second loop is required to traverse from second to the last element. I will create a for loop with index i and another for loop with index j. Once that is done, I will calculate the length of the rectangle by subtracting the value that is j minus i. In the same way, we can calculate the width by finding the minimum value between the current element and the next one. And that is what we are doing on this line. Next, we find the area that is by multiplying length and width. Finally, we compare the current value with the calculated area and update the max. On hitting run, we get 49 which is the expected result. There is one small problem in this solution. Since we are using two for loops, the time complexity is big O of n square, which is bad. Let's try finding the solution by using one for loop to bring down the time complexity of big O of n, shall we? In order to do that, let me start off by creating two new variables, left and right, where left points to the first element in the array and right points to the last element in the array. Now let's use a while loop for a change and in this case we loop as long as left is less than right. For fun let's write all the logic in one single line. Here we are first finding the length by subtracting right and left variables. Next we find the width and we calculate the area by multiplying height and width. Finally we get the maximum value between the current max and the calculated area and assign it to max as we did earlier. All we need to do now is increment our index variables. To do that, 
I check if height of left is less than height of right. In this case, I increment left, else I decrement right. In this way, we are able to easily break out of our while loop. Now, on hitting return, we get the same result as before. To conclude, the current solution has a time complexity of big O of n and space complexity of big O of 1, which satisfy all our constraint. See you in the next video. Happy coding until then.